How's it going everyone? It is Malvazi here and welcome back to Undertale. Okay. So items use. <laughs> okay, how to use a stick one on one. You pick it up, you throw it and go pick it up from the ground and if you want you can throw it again. Uh Manly banana. Bandana. You too? Manly banana. Okay. Use the box. Yeah. Gonna put the glove here. And the stick since I have the toy knife. Uh, snowman piece. I'm gonna walk around with it. Faded ribbon. I don't think I need this. I'm gonna take the ice cream so I can eat. And it's this. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Above? What's maximum HP? Oh. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. Is it too expensive? One night is 80G. Ugh. You don't even have 80 AG? 80 G? Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Ah, oh, thanks. How lovely! They give me music while I sleep. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep, definitely. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Feel free to come back if you get tired. How can one sleep with those guys snoring like that? Yeah, I have 30 HP now. Okay, that's nice. What? Uh, I didn't want to teleport over there. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels, they're efficiently laid out. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Why? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. Oh. Um, wasn't me. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some sor some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. So only kids wear striped striped shirts? I mean, okay. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. A fish lady? That's politics, <laughs> I guess. Whoa. Oh, look. It's the doggies. What's up, dog? You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and effect and attention. Attention. Sorry. I didn't read right. 
We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. <laughs> you know that those bones are part of his, of their bodies, right? <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attack! It'll attach a leech to me and, and take me for a walk, please. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, come on. It's so cute. What is that, a bunny? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and... Ha 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 ha... Hot guy. Hot guys. Well, there's a hot guy. <laughs> um... Isn't human food different from monster's food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Disgusting, but he wants to try it. Sure. Uh, when I go back to my human world, I'll be sure to come back and give you some human food. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard that they're going to start moving here. Um, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. The jukebox is broken. Well, that's great. <laughs> what is up? Da 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 da. Grilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. Undine and Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Oh, they do? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Uh, so it was this guy's fishing rod. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> okay. Can I go to that door? No. <coughs> oh. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes trying to forget our modern crisis. They're in this crowding lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. Well, neither am I. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Well, that's a good perspective. Library. What's up there, though? Whoa! And choose a strong fella. What's that? Let's play monsters and humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt <laughs> boundless. Yeah, that's how you distinguish distinguish them when they get old. They get a mustache. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience re rewards me. <laughs> ah. 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 
Uh, <laughs> will you answer the door already? Guess not. Thanks. Let's go to the library. Hey, monsters. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Maybe. Got a problem with that? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. Well, then why don't you fix it? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That's also interesting. Cuff cuff. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Good to know. Oh, part 4? Can I read part 1? Fearing the humans no longer... Fearing the, mu the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city. Home. We braved harsh, cold, damp, swampland and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cold as cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, <laughs> they turn into dust. Oh. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then, their essence will live on it, on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page m minimum yet? I'm kinda sick of writing this. Okay. Well, the more we find out about the monsters and the humans, the more I think that the humans acted wrongly. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? <laughs> Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing... Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Okay. Then why was it on the shelf? Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their... S attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the, the crueler the intentions of our un of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chatter, chapter here. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. Uh. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Which is sad. Okay. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. <laughs> this mailbox is labeled Peppers. Oh, it's his home. Look inside? Oh, sure. It's empty. <laughs> Poor guy. I'll send you a letter. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Well, there goes the ice blocks. It got too silent. I wanna go check the other place first. Ok, 
because I guess there's nothing to do there. Well guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you guys on my next video, as always. So until then, see ya!